Hey guys, well I haven't learnt better angles but I brought you a better view. I'm doing some readings from outside today so let's start with Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? I will grab you one of your messages from your angels first and then I will grab your romance angel card, just one of each and then we'll clarify with the royal deck. So let's see. Patience, Capricorn. Patience here. So it says, now is the time to learn, study and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So patience is the key here, Capricorn. So let's see here. Romance Angel for you guys. People probably think like, what is this woman doing? <laughs> retreat look they're saying the same thing right now it's not time for action disconnect from the world here have patience study do what you gotta do look after yourself and things will happen now's the time for learning okay this is the energy of the new moon here was the Cancer New Moon last night. This is being recorded on the 3rd of July. Let's see here. This is the Royal Deck. The Star. Right on track with destiny. You are where you're meant to be. So if you're not with somebody or things aren't going right at the moment, you're where you're meant to be. You're on track here. Just have patience. It's time to learn. So let's get another one for you. I think we'll do three of these cards for each sign and yeah see what you need to know the most nine of swords don't be worrying don't be stressing don't be having sleepless nights about this maybe you feel like you're not moving forward at this time but the key at the moment is wait patience here patience worry will serve you no purpose here and let's get you one more capricorn and then we're going to move on to aquarius the Six of Cups. So a soulmate is on your mind. Somebody from your past could be returning here. Um, so right now, just have patience. What will be, will be Capricorn, okay? So let's get some cards for Aquarius now. We're going to do them all in the same video. Messages from your angels here. Just outside with my feet in the grass. It's lovely. Aquarius messages for Aquarius. Azir, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith. Don't try and force it to happen. Don't try and force it there. It will happen all in divine timing. You know, everything at the right time. So let's get you guys one of the romance angels. Romantic feelings. Yes, your feelings are real and worth exploring. But just don't try and force it, guys, you know. I just heard um, Baby It Will Be, Let It Be. It's a song, eh? Baby, just let it be. I don't know what it is. So let's get three of these royal deck for you, Aquarius. Ooh, two of wands. So you're feeling like at a crossroads here. You know, um, should I stay or should I go? And like the song just said, baby, just let it be. You know, what will be, will be here, Aquarius. Don't worry. Make the decision to have faith. You know, just let it be. Seven of Swords. So this Seven of Swords in this deck is more like haunting memories for me. And I feel like um, maybe something from your past could be haunting you. This is what the new moon could have brought out for you because we are, all the planets are nearly going into retrograde here, nearly all of them. Um, there's so many. Um, but, you know, slowing things down and taking a look at the past, um, you may be just focusing on lies and deception here. Um, but, um, you know, maybe that's why you're contemplating but just um, let go of what's not serving you here. Those ghosts from the past, um, I mean, learn from them by all means and focus on the present, the here and now, be in the moment, you know. Your desired outcome is coming here. 
and this is the hanged man here needing new perspective do what i'm doing get outside look at things from a different point of view um again with the hangman here um enlightenment you know and looking at things from other people's perspectives sometimes could actually hold you back and maybe you're feeling stuck you know because the hangman's usually tied up upside down so maybe you're feeling stuck and you don't know whether you know to move on or move forward here don't let the things of the past stop you know your future here okay guys so let's move on to pisces what have we got for pisces after the new moon in cancer what are they focused on right now adriel and she says you are a light worker god needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants wow so some of you out there are light workers too i just look at it like you know bring light into every part of your life you know and nothing major like people always ask me what's my life purpose well f your first life purpose for everybody is to wake up um and then maybe your life purpose is to be a mother or a father and then you know a teacher so some people may be in a job but feel like well what's my life purpose you know it can be a job as well here so passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy there so let's get some of the royal deck for you guys. You know, follow your passion, you know, and you'll often probably find your life purpose. What you're passionate about at the moment, King of Cups. So if you're passionate about working on yourself, go ahead and do that. If you're passionate about another water sign, let them know, Pisces. But here I just feel like, you know, maybe you're having to focus on keeping your feelings in check in order to get the rest of your world in check. But you could have new passionate feelings for somebody here. So let's see. Let's see for Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe you just right now you need to focus on yourself here. If you're a light worker, you can't help nobody if you're not helping yourself. A lot of people often think, you know, oh, I need to help others, I need to help others. And you end up bumping into people who will drain your energy quite happily. Um, even not even in a malicious way. This can be friends asking you to go out and things like that. Maybe you need this time on your own here at the moment, Pisces. Ooh, Nine of Cups. You know, um, like I said, focusing on yourself, you're then able to focus on your wishes coming true, um, wishes granted. But I feel like this is more like just a state of happiness. Um, if you are focused on yourself and you're happy within yourself, then things easily manifest for you here. So let's see Aries. Aries, let's get your messages from your angels what you need to know here there's only birds walking up to me here <laughs> my spirit guides let's see grace and antoinette to help heal this situation see the other person's point of view with compassion so needing to see somebody else's point of view here Maybe just understanding, you know, we're all on our life path. There is no right and wrong. And you can say, you know, this person did that to me, but it maybe helped you wake up. Maybe that was their purpose. That was your agreement before coming here. Let's see. Soulmate. Yeah. So we could be talking about a soulmate who helped you wake up. Maybe see things with kindness and compassion right now. Maybe that's what this new moon will bring for you guys. Let's get some of the royal deck for you though and elaborate on the situation. Ooh, strength. Yes, gaining this strength from, you know, um, awakening. So like I said, maybe you went through some difficult times, but be proud of yourself that you had this strength to make it through these times. You know, that'll bring clarity for you this new moon, um, recognizing your own strength there. 
Ooh, the magician. Look at that. Things are coming in for you now. Things are manifesting for you now. You're like a magnet. So you'll be drawing things in. So make sure to have uh, positive thoughts and compassionate thoughts here. Compassionate thoughts, yeah. Because you don't want to manifest some other stuff in here. Five of Pentacles, you definitely don't want to manifest in the lack. So, like I said, you know, focus more on the strength and the stuff you've overcome and be proud of that. You know, don't tell your story as, I went through these terrible things, terrible things happened to me. No, say, I overcome these things. You know, I had the strength to overcome this and still be kind and compassionate to the world. If you're feeling this lack, um, then... I feel like you will manifest in more of this lack. So let's see here. Oops, one's jumped out. And it is the Queen of Cups. So if, especially if it's about a water sign there. Um, but the Queen of Cups is very compassionate as well. And, you know, it was the Cancer um, New Moon. So, you know, it could be focusing on families and things like that for you there. Because Cancer's all about, you know, caring, nurturing, um, compassionate energy there so let's do Taurus shall we guys let's do Taurus Oops. from your angels and again Idriel you are a light worker Taurus God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants so yeah good for you guys you know same we often find that, you know, people, because it's the energy that we're in and we're feeling. So, you know, energy can't be destroyed, you know, so it only transmuted. So focus that energy um, into positive stuff at this time, I feel, into caring and nurturing things. Love yourself first. Care and nurture yourself first here. Self-respect brings you more. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So loving yourself first always. Always. So let's have a look, guys. Let's see here. Two of Swords. Only thing indecision can do for you is hold you back at this time. So if you feel like you need more information, then seek it. Don't let it hold you back here. Just seek the information um, that you're looking for. And, um, you know, if you need to speak to somebody, go ahead and do it. Birds telling you they agree with you, they have a message for you there. Go ahead and do it. If that's the only thing holding you back, a lack of information, search out that information. Seven of Cups here now. So, yeah, so indecision, confusion. It can happen during Cancer season, like, you know, Pisces season, the watery energy with the earthly energy. It can be um, more confused, confusing than helpful at times when you're not a water sign. I mean, um, the other water signs do have difficulties, but um, do fare better. Um, than the other signs during you know the watery energy so you know if you're feeling confused and indecisive that's only going to hold you back so do research on it do research on it so what do we have the sun the sun's out in force today healing enlightenment so like i said go out and search that information and you'll get that enlightenment you'll get you'll find what you're looking for here usually the answers are within so let's see who's next is it gemini let's get a message rochelle as you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Wonderful. Prosperity is coming there. You know, listen to your heart always. If you can't hear it because of all the noise, do what I did. Get outside and um, allow your mind to be quiet. So let's get you guys a romance angel. Flirt. Go ahead and extend your light-hearted energy here. Go ahead and flirt. So maybe you're thinking about, you know, bumping into 
new people or extending your energy to new pe people here. Like jumping out. The Emperor. Okay. So you may be interested in somebody who's older at the moment, but you may be just focused on your own kingdom at the moment. And why not? You know, this is about luxury. So if you have prosperity coming in, this is luxury as well. So good time for money, guys. Good time for money. Six of Swords, moving forward, you know, out of, you know, these waters, if they feel quite stormy to you, you know, thinking positive and keeping that positivity moving will keep you pos uh, moving positively forward there. So you could be traveling as well um, to a foreign land with the emperor. Um, Or you could be going out with a person from a foreign land there or moving towards one. Let's see here. The knave of pentacles. So, yeah, a seed being planted out here. You know, something new beginning, a new opportunity, um, an offer from somebody that may feel like rather small, but could turn into something really big here. So let's get some messages from cancer here. Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Isaiah, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and new situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So wonderful time for everybody, um, but especially you, Cancer, with the new moon being in Cancer. You know, the new moons and the cycle of the moon. It's all about... Um, you know, starting afresh, setting your intentions here. And it's a wonderful time for you to set your intentions and actually follow through with them there. So let's get you guys a Romance Angel card. Calling in your soulmate. So yeah, if you're looking to start um, a new relationship, now's um, a good time for that, guys. You're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together here. So, let's see. Cancer. Ooh, the wheel of fortune here, Cancers. So, yeah turning things around, getting things moving here. Could be travel for you guys as well, or a new car even here. Um, but turning things around, getting things, you know, in a positive direction here. Ooh, new home maybe, four of wands. So you could be, uh, if you're in the market for a new home, you, now's a good time if that's what you want. Building new foundations here with the Four of Wands. Very good foundation for you to start building on. Wonderful time for you guys to um, start something new, a new job, um, a new project here. You know, meeting somebody new. It's a wonderful time for that. And the Nine of Swords there. Don't worry about it. Like I say, worry about bringing nothing but trouble um here though i feel like you may be able to get a hold of this worry or maybe you're worrying for somebody else here but everything will be fine with them if that is the case so who do we have next leos so let's see leos let's get a message from your angels here maya I love the card, Maya. I love it. Schooling, study and education help bring your life's, pers your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. Let me start that again. Schooling, study, education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide and help you with this process here. So you're being guided at this moment, Leo. So don't worry. This is what it's bringing for you, this new moon. Guidance. Trust. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Just trust that at the moment you're protected and guided. Okay, guys? So whatever's going on with you, 
don't worry about it you are protected at this moment here listen to your intuition as well five of swords so if you're feeling like it is lose lose or anything like that don't worry at the moment you're being protected and guiding during this phase you may be even arguing with people but not to worry you're definitely um, protected right now the king of cups so could be um i was going to say scorpio but i meant water sign here um could be a water sign that's you know stressing you out a little bit because look i'm more focused on her head at the moment holding her head like can't just get them out of their mind maybe you had an argument with somebody that you love can be friends family um but you're being protected at this time so don't worry maybe like when i said people don't come back and things like that um it's usually for your own protection guys looking at me like i'm devil worshiping <laughs> five of wands there as well so if you definitely if you guys are feeling like you're in this tough energy you know um mars um that you're in a lose-lose situation people just want to seem to argue with you trying to bring out you know your inner beast you just may be trying to be cool and calm and they're trying to wind you up here um, just know just know that you'll be okay you're protected even if people are trying to start things with you you're protected you're the one that's protected here oops so yeah I guess it wants to tell me more here, but is it fair? Leo's, is it fair? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, the High Priestess, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands. So somebody's, tr Leo's, you got a little extra, but um, yeah, somebody's definitely trying to wind you up here the advice is to walk away listen to your gut because you're being guided at the moment don't feel like you're missing out on anything it's you know if they're saying come to the party or something and you're just like i'm trying to work on myself with the eight of pentacles here and queen of wands and you know you're growing when people realize that you're growing and you're shining they will try bring you pull you down so don't don't worry about it you're protected and your angels are trying to guide you at this time so yeah really don't worry about it just listen to your own intuition here okay so who do we have next oops Virgo. oh you're trying to get clever give me two as well huh vanessa and rochelle as well to make your decision ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose which way takes me away from it and as you honor and follow your the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you so if you feel like um you know which direction to go ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose there and you'll find prosperity that way okay so let's see here get you guys a romance angel card love yourself first too virgos love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so let's get you guys three of the royal deck it's not fairly or cheated i know <laughs> this one not going in okay so it's the queen of pentacles nurture yourself it's all about loving yourself and being kind to yourself right now. You know, um, if you think, think about a mother who would be nurturing and loving to a child, then you should be that as well to yourself here. Get out in nature like this. This is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be focusing on um, a business and just keeping yourself to yourself, trying to earn your money here. Oh, sorry. School's walking past. Ooh, eight of wands so expect communication but remember to love yourself first 
things will move forward with um, business opportunities or job opportunities here as well you will see personal growth if you are taking care and nurturing yourself here so you'll see results like if you wanted to go to the gym now's a good time to see results And we have the Knave of Pentacles, again, Page of Pentacles there. So again, like um, you may find yourself blocking somebody's communication if they're texting you or vice versa. But here it's an opportunity to um, plant a seed that will grow here. Okay, guys. So did you have three? Let's give you one more. Two of Swords, don't, like I just said, don't let this indecision hold you back. You know, um, if you need more information, go ahead and look for it, but don't let it hold you back here. Okay, guys, so let's do Libra. Libra. Message from your angels for Libra. Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So like I was saying earlier, um, when people see you rising, their gut instinct is to try and drag you down. But if you keep, you know, rising, they will eventually be inspired by you here, Libra. So you're inspiring people who are pretending not to even take notice of you here right now. So let's get you guys a romance angel also. Soulmate. So you're inspiring a soulmate as well here. Yes, this is your soulmate if this was your question. That's what you came to the reading just to find out. Yes, this is your soulmate. You have lots to teach them. five of wands so you could be arguing with your soulmate at the moment um a lot of this going on but it could be in a conflict for you guys i feel like if you're off balance libra then you will find this is in a conflict that you're fighting yourself you know whether to descend or not should i stop working on myself because it seems to you know unsettle others no don't stop working on yourself here high priestess there you go, working on yourself, rising up here, rising up bigger, better and stronger. Trust your gut instinct. If your gut is telling you anything, follow it, okay? So with that five of wands, if you feel like there's something not right, follow your instinct here. Let's get you one more Libra. Three of Swords. So, you know, we know this is like disappointment, heartache and things like that. If you're feeling this energy, try to step away from it. Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, some people want to keep reminding you and pulling you down and maybe you're feeling disappointed or hurt by somebody here. Just keep trying to ascend and they'll eventually follow you there. Okay, so let's get a message for us Scorpios here from our angels for Scorpio. Crystal, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Wonderful. Something positive and new on the horizon. Bring it on. That's what I say. Bring it on here. Let's get a romance angel. Oh, true love is on the horizon, guys. Look at you. This is a romance of a lifetime. Well, look at us. So much Scorpio in my chart and Aquarius moon. Wow, it's hard being me. <laughs> I'm straight up crazy and bipolar if I don't keep a check on it. Okay, let's get three of the royal deck for us. The tower. Dun, dun, dun. Transformation. Let's see here. The tower. So, I feel like this is a Scorpio card anyway in a lot of the readings. 
Um, so this is something surprising, but the first card messages from our angel, let us know that, you know, just because we can't see it and just because it's surprising doesn't mean it has to be bad. Okay, guys. So something surprising is coming. We know that, but it's positive. The angels already told us first here. So something we're not expecting. Well, we're not, I'm not expecting a true love just to appear on the horizon from behind one of those trees over there. Maybe they will. Ooh, the Ace of Swords there. Information, clarity, communication. Expect it, guys. You know, be very accurate and honest with your communication at this time um, with the Tower. Just be yourself here, I feel, if this is a surprising um, opportunity for true love to come in. Something you're not expecting with the Tower. Ooh king of cups here so definitely you're like you know what i when i just looked at her um i think she's called deborah cox and she sings how did you get here nobody's supposed to be here and it's a song um like when somebody says i'm never letting somebody in my heart again but then just by surprise somebody is inside her heart and she's like how did you get here nobody's supposed to be here and she says I've placed my heart under lock and key to take some time and take care of me. I turn around and you're standing here. I'm scared to look behind. <laughs> could be a new water sign coming in. It just could be you like raising yourself to the top of your game. So now that, you know, this can come in for you guys here. Very strong within yourself showing up as the tower and the king of cups. Feeling good about you. nine of cups. Wishes granted here. What did you wish for? A true love? That's coming in for you guys. That's what this season will bring Scorpio. So let's see Sagittarius. Get the messages for you guys. Sagittarius. Messages from your angels. Omega. Victory. Your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work it's coming guys good wonderful here wonderful let's get you guys a romance angel card are we gonna meet a sagittarius scorpios so true love for you guys your desired outcome whoever it is you're dealing with there um, if you consider it a true love or anything like that, um, it's coming for you guys. It's coming. Keep up the good work. If you've been working on yourself, that's coming in for you now. Work hard on yourself always. Five of Wands. Don't question it. Don't question it here. You know, will I, won't I, should I, shouldn't I? Don't question it. It's coming. No, it's coming. That's manifesting. That's the technique to manifesting, that knowing. Ten of Wands, let go of the burden. Like, you've doubled the effort here somehow from the Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. It's like doubling the worry. So it's gone from, like, in a conflict or an argument um, to an actual burden. It's now time to let go of this. What you desire is coming. L drop the burden here. Drop the arguments. Drop the inner conflict. Drop the doubt and worry. It's unnecessary. It won't serve you any. Actually put blockages in the way. Oh, so the Six of Pentacles. Look at this Six of Pentacles. I hope you can see it. I can't see the camera with the sun. But this looks like comfort. Somebody comforting another person here. So I feel like somebody could be coming during this season, July, for you to comfort you you know with this worry and this inner conflict to let you know um, and reassure you here this feels like reassurance coming for you guys so you've had three guys it's been real love you all bye